Hello guys, hope you all are good. Welcome to another interesting video on assignment for task executors. So this is our first assignment for task executors and I have listed problem statement in this Flexim background itself and we also have task to do. So let's begin understanding what would be the problem statement for the assignment of task executors. So the problem statement begins with two stations we need to create which will be working in parallel where station one has operator one which is used for processing and setup where process time is five minutes and setup time is three minutes. We have another station two which has operator two which is used for setup of three minutes. So the operator two will be used for setuping and the processing will be done automatic on station two which has a cycle time of six minutes. Then the second objective is the out parts are loaded into the Q1 by operator 2 such that first it will lift part from station 1 then he will come to station 2 load another part. So now operator 2 will have two parts in his hand. He will carry those two parts onto Q1 and unload there and then again return back to station 2 for doing setuping. Then the operator 3 will carry two parts using the trolley to next Q2 from Q1. So the operator 3 will load these two parts onto the trolley and travel it to Q2. There he will unload these two parts. On unloading the parts color will get changed to green from brown and on unload the operator 3 will return back to Q1 for new loading. Then the trolley color should turn to green when it has parts loaded and turn red when the trolley is empty. We also need to take care that there should not be any system console error in our modeling. If the station 2 makes early production in any of the cases, the trigger for the simultaneous pick of operator 2 should still work. So we need to make this logic very rigid and dynamic. Then we will turn to tasks to do. In this assignment, we need to create a model by conventional method. So the first that is operator 2 logic we will be doing by conventional method and operator 3 logic for trolley we will be doing using process flow. So you will be able to learn process flow also in this assignment. Create the simultaneous task sequence logic for operators creating the simultaneous loading to trolley logic. So this we will be doing by using process flow. So we will get a flavor of conventional as well as process flow in single assignment. Then trolley trigger logic we will be doing that is color changing logic then we will create some of the dashboards for trolley operator utilization and station utilizations so i will show you so i already prepared this model uh, this is how the model will look like at the end of the modeling this is the top view of model how it will look like i will just run the model and show you slowly so this so we are having this initial inventory placed the parts will be traveled to the station one and station two we have created stations in parallel we have operator one and operator two operator one will be used for setuping as well as processing while the operator two will be used only for setuping onto the station two and this operator then will be used for transferring the material from station one station two and then to our q1 so I'll just make this model slowly faster. So, okay. So if you look at the operator utilization now, he is utilized, but the operator two should not be utilized. So he's idle. Now, once this uh, part from the station one is ready to be delivered. So on process finish, what we, we are going to have is this operator is going to pick that part. And now that operator is waiting for this station to complete its operation now once it is done the operator will then load another part from station 2 and transfer it to buffer q1 now this trolley needs to be red in color when on empty and green in color when it is getting filled and this operator needs to transfer two parts at a time using this trolley from q1 to q2 so if you look at this the operator will now take this trolley and he will lift those two parts place on those the color for the trolley is turned to green if you look at that and now he is transferring two parts using the trolley to the Q2. 
so we have successfully completed all the problem statements from our problem statements listed below and this is how the model will function there is a lot of backend coding conventionally and also process flow been used if you want to learn step by step modeling for this assignment do send us your payment via upi link mentioned in the description we will take small token of support from you in return of video link the cost details are mentioned in the description thanks for your support and love do not forget to visit our website beawarechannel.com to read written policy for paid services so this would be the page how it would look like for the paid services and we will meet in another interesting video till then thank you learn simulating jai hind